Greetings, greetings, greetings. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. God be the glory. God be the glory. God be the glory. Give thanks and praise. Declaration of freedom. Free dominion. Free domain. Freedom. We the free people of the Awa Indian nation in America offer the following declaration of freedom. This is an update to the July 4th, 1776 Declaration of Independence of the 13 Colonies as derived from the great law of peace of ancient constitution. Preamble We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal, that they are endowed by nature with certain unalienable right on alienable rights, which among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the form of owning property, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men and women, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. In other words, you can only be governed only by your consent. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute a new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. This is why we choose to be self-governed. Yeah. We have a duty to exercise our right to self-identification. We also have a duty to exercise our right to self-determination. That is our right. These rights didn't derive from man, but from nature, the creator of nature. Most people call God. So we do give thanks. Plain statement. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light or transient causes, and accordingly all experiences has shown that man, woman, and offspring are more disposed to suffer Are more, are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long strain of abuse and usurpation pursuing invariably the same object evince a device to reduce them under absolute despotism. It is a right. It is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards to their future security. Such has been the patient sufferings, sufferings of those living under dictatorship of whatever form and the history of the world's present dictatorship is a history of repeated 
injuries and usurpations, all having indirect object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over their people. Prove this. Let facts be submitted across the earth to a candid world. Dictatorships subject their people to one laws without assent, the most wholesome and necessary for the public good. Two, the obstruction of justice by refusing their assent to laws for establishing independent judiciary powers. Three, prison without trial by jury. Four, their will alone for the tenure of their offices and the amount and payment of their salaries. 5. Taxation without their consent. 6. Numerous officers and officials to harass them, eat out their substance, and loot their possessions. 7. The expropriation of their commerce, products, and monies for personal use. It corruption so vast that bribing officials and officers is the only way to get anything done. Nine. The disillusion of whatever representative house they suffer to exist for opposing with manly firmness their invasions on the right of their people. 10. Debt by the bullet, sword, and tank treads for only demonstrating their rights to be heard, freedom of speech. The worst of these dictatorships subjects their people to one mass impoverishment, famine, and early debt. Who, a border to border forced labor, concentration camp, or re-education camp. Three, internal and foreign deportations and mass migration that deprive their, them of their homes, villages, communities, and roots. Yeah, man, if you're there up on the mainland, I don't know you're American, we you call Awak Indian. And you tell the people them say you're Jamaican, then they're going to deport you back to that corporate Jamaica federal area. But the moment you tell them you're American, number one, them now have no jurisdiction, so them can't deport you from your own land. America include all the islands. That's what is called America. It's an archipelago. Yeah, man. Number four. Kidnapping, torture, rape, genocide, democide, and demoslaughter. Five, rule by fear. Six, the death and destruction of aggressive and imperial wars without the people's assent. Conclusion. We, the free people of America, therefore declare, appealing to the souls of, this, of dictatorship's victims for the rectitude of our intentions, who, in the name and by the authority of the people of the earth, solemnly publish and declare that all dictatorships are, are criminal governments, that their people of right ought to be free, that they ought to be absolved from all allegiances to these criminal governments, that the sovereignty and independence of these criminal governments ought to be totally dissolved 
and that as fellow human beings, man and woman, their, their people ought to have the full power of speak, full power to speak their mind, the full power to follow their own religion, the full power to peaceably assembly, the full power to establish commerce, the full power to elect their representative if they so choose, and to do, and the full power to do all other acts and things that free people may of right do. Further, for the support of this declaration, with firm reliance on the correctness of our declaration, we mutually pledge to communicate this declaration far and wide and to support by whatever means, peaceably, peacefully, harmoniously, at our disposal, the free, the freeing of the of these subject people. Now for touch this again. Further, for the support of this declaration with a firm reliance on the correctness of our declaration, we mutually pledge or to communicate this declaration far and wide and to support by whatever peaceful means at our disposal the screen of these subject people. Yeah, that's more clear. Gratitude. Give dance people. That is basically our declaration of freedom from the Awa Indian nation in America. Yeah, man. And we have what is known as an article of association to the Awak Indian nation. We, the free people of America, derive our authority from the supreme power, the creator of nature, the ultimate sovereign, our God, our King. We, the free people of America, mutually pledge our allegiance to this specific society, a walk Indian nation in America. We have established our houses with the creation of our seals, making ourselves principals, executors, and title owners to the first, middle, last name, doing business as entity. We are sovereign in our capacity as man and woman and are exempt from all taxes. We now endorse this document with an autograph along with our red thumbprint representing the office of man and our house seal representing the authority of man. And then here we have the houses, people about drop them autograph, drop them title, and as we go forward, we'll add the seals then to the document. And this document will truly be placed on the public record for time immemorial. On this day, 25th day of December, in the year 2020, to God be the glory. Nam yoho penge kyo. Nam yoho penge kyo. Nam yoho penge kyo. Thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Come on, our declaration of freedom for the Awa Indian nation in America. And accordingly, so the people have established them house, have them seal, and kind of get cultured in the renewing of your mind. You know what I mean? Then you place, you know, your document out there, declare yourself free, you move forward from there. 
step by step, step by step. Come yeah, on. We are lawful in our capacity. Yeah, man. And we have that beauty to exercise our right to contract. That right cannot be impaired by no laws, no color of law. Why? Because that is law. The right to contract is law. So we do give thanks step by step, people. Step by step. Salute.